Cyber security has become a part of everyday life, so maintaining cyber security is now crucial for not only modern businesses but also government institutions. As organizations of all size were having to deal with the same cybersecurity challenges, it became clear that a common cybersecurity framework would benefit everyone by recommending best practice policies, protective technologies, and specific activities related to information security and cybersecurity in general. Any organization's internal policy will include at least some of those activities at the planning stage, especially as organizations may lack the resource or technical competencies to design their own policies from scratch. So stay tuned to dive into the details related to cybersecurity frameworks. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, I want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so that you don't miss out on any new updates or video releases from Great Learning. If you enjoy this video, show us some love and like this video. Knowledge increases by sharing. So make sure you share this video with your friends and colleagues. Make sure to comment on the video. Any queries or suggestions and I will respond to your comments. Let's have a bird's eye view of the agenda for this entire course. Initially, we'll brush up about what is cyber security and its need. Then you all will get to know what are cyber threats and the sources of cyber threats. Later on, we'll discuss about the most important topic in this course that is what is cyber security framework. Next, we'll discuss about the different types of cyber security frameworks. You all will even get to know about few existing cyber security frameworks. Towards the end, We'll be discussing about cyber security framework guidance. With no further delay, let's get into this course. The world we live in is networked like a mesh including our finances, social profile and governmental infrastructure. Cyber security by default has become a necessity. Cyber security encompasses everything from protecting personal information to intellectual property from deliberate attempts of damage and theft. Risks are festering as the world leans more towards cloud services and global connectivity. For example, Facebook had a security breach where hundreds of millions of Facebook user records were exposed on Amazon cloud server. According to content delivery network provider Akamai, gaming industry has been the biggest victim of cyber attacks in the past couple of years. Now let's look at the definition of cyber security. Cyber security is a practice of protecting systems and networks from digital attacks. With the tremendous advancement in technology, the risk involved also increases rapidly. Cyber security literally plays the role of a savior that saves us from falling into the pit. Hope you all have understood what is cyber security. Let's understand the need for cyber security with the example of LinkedIn phishing scam. I guess most of you know what is LinkedIn. LinkedIn is world's most popular employment service website for job seekers. Recently, LinkedIn was subjected to a cyber attack where 500 million users' profile data was sold online. All of you might be thinking, from where did hackers gain this information? Very simple. Hackers sent fraudulent job offers to users and by making them click on malicious link, the hackers gained all the sensitive information. This sounds interesting, but it's quite dangerous. We have now stepped into a new phase in this digital world where cyber crimes are increasing rapidly with the advancement in technology. So cyber security is playing a major role in protecting data from data breaches in various organizations. So what is data breach? Data breach is nothing but stealing information from an organization system without the consent of the owner. Hope you all understood what is the need for cyber security. Cyber threats are attacks that you should stand up to to protect yourself from the harm that comes with it. Let's look at the definition of cyber threats. Cyber threats are malicious attacks that damage and steal data which in turn affects the digital life. Let's see what are the sources of cyber threats one by one. State sponsored. The state employs hackers and sponsors them to conduct cyber attack. Terrorists. Terrorists conduct cyber attack to damage the security infrastructure to harm the citizens of a country. Industrial spies. 
Industrial spies might be an employee of an organization who might misuse his or her login credentials to penetrate into the network to gain confidential data. Organized crime groups. Organized crime groups are group of criminals who conduct cyber attacks for economic benefit. Hackers. Hackers find different ways to break into the security infrastructure of an organization to gain sensitive data for economic benefit. Hacktivist. Hacktivist is a person who gains unauthorized access to an organization system for economic or political benefit. Cyber espionage. Cyber espionage is a type of cyber attack to steal data from a competitive company or a government organization. Hope you all have understood what are cyber threats and what are the different sources of cyber threats. Now let's understand what is cyber security framework. Cyber security framework is a practice of managing cyber security risks by following security guidelines that arise in the digital world. The goal of framework is to reduce cyber attacks. Cyber security framework is closely related to an organization's risk management strategy to update the information technology and also to provide a way to stave off cyber attacks. Cyber security framework provides a detailed outline of all the aspects of cyber security planning, implementation and response. By selecting the relevant framework, one can build custom cyber security policies tailored to their business and compliance requirements. You can also ensure effective cyber security risk management with repeatable results. So hope you all have understood what is a cyber security framework. Types of cyber security frameworks. According to top cyber security expert Frank Kim, frameworks can be of different types and they are control frameworks, program frameworks, and risk frameworks. Let's understand each type one by one. Control frameworks. In control frameworks, initially a basic strategy is developed for the security team. It is important to provide a baseline for the set of controls. Then the existing technical state is assessed and the implementation is prioritized accordingly. The next type is program frameworks. In program frameworks, you need to assess the security program and build the security program. And you also need to measure the competitive analysis. The next one is risk frameworks. In risk frameworks, we initially define the key process steps to assess or manage risk. Then we need to structure the program for risk management. Later on, you need to prioritize the security activities. So hope you all have understood the different types of cyber security frameworks. Let's now explore about few existing cyber security frameworks. We'll be discussing about four major cyber security frameworks in this course. And they are the NIST cyber security framework, Center for Internet Security, ISO or IEC 27001 and MSP plus cyber security framework. Identifying risks and taking proper actions might be difficult. But fortunately, usage of these frameworks can identify and reduce the security gaps. So let's see what are these frameworks one by one. The NIST Cyber Security Framework. The NIST Cyber Security Framework was created by private industry experts by following the existing standards practices to focus on five core functions that is identify, protect, detect, respond and recover. Identify refers to risk management. Protect refers to safeguarding the critical infrastructure services. Detect refers to identifying cyber security event. Respond defines what actions need to be taken if a cyber security event is detected. Recover. Recover identifies what services need to focus on resilience as well as outlines the restore capabilities with impaired services. The NIST cyber security framework is comprehensive and easy to understand by default. You can be confident that you're adhering to cyber security best practices if you're following NIST cyber security framework. Center for Internet Security. In the 2000s, Center for Internet Security was established to create and develop a framework to protect businesses from cyber threats. 
Since CIS is divided into three groups, it is suitable for organizations that want to take things one step at a time, specifically fundamental, foundational and organizational. ISO or IEC 27001. This is an internationally recognized cybersecurity framework that organizations use to implement an information security management system and systematically manage the organization's information security risks. MSP Plus Cybersecurity Framework MSP stands for Managed Service Provider. MSP Plus Cybersecurity Framework provides a certification program for the MSP community that is based upon best practices to a repeatable and adaptive program. This program is designed to enhance the cybersecurity posture and services provided by MSPs to their clients. This framework serves as a cyber hygiene check to protect their own systems, services and data and as well as their clients. Hope you all have understood the different cybersecurity frameworks discussed so far. Now let's discuss about cybersecurity framework guidance. Framework guidance allows the sector stakeholders with the ability to understand and use the framework to assess and improve their cyber resiliency. The stakeholders also identify gaps in the existing cybersecurity risk management frameworks and identify current sector specific tools and resources that map to the framework. Hope you all are clear about cybersecurity framework guidance. Hooray! We have come towards the end of this course. It's time for you all to recollect whatever you all studied throughout this course. Initially, we discussed about what is cybersecurity and its need. Cybersecurity is the practice of protecting systems and networks from digital attacks. Next, we discussed what are cyber threats and the sources of cyber threats. Then we discussed about the most important topic in this course that is what is cybersecurity framework. Cybersecurity framework is a practice of managing cybersecurity risks by following security guidelines that arise in the digital world. Then we discussed about three types of cybersecurity frameworks and they are control frameworks, program frameworks and risk frameworks. Later on we discussed about four major cybersecurity frameworks and they are the NIST Cybersecurity Framework, Center for Internet Security, ISO or IEC 27001 and MSP Plus Cybersecurity Framework. Towards the end, we discussed about Cybersecurity Framework guidance. Hope this entire course was interesting and useful to you all. Thank you all. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, I want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so that you don't miss out on any new updates or video releases from Great Learning. If you enjoy this video, show us some love and like this video. Knowledge increases by sharing. So make sure you share this video with your friends and colleagues. Make sure to comment on the video. Any queries or suggestions and I will respond to your comments.